Hi guys, good morning. I put it up this morning, 23 September 2021, but this is not the first time, right? This is Discord. Discord wants you to give you a lucky day or something, and there's a new update, and then there are Debian, Linux, and so on. Don't go there, right? It's not interesting. Discord is based on Electrum, and yesterday, Control T, rip. Yesterday, we got in Electrum number 13. So the back end is changed, booted up as I guess yesterday, 18.30, right? I installed it, never restarted yesterday. This morning I boot up and I say, oh look, Discord is not working. It all depends about updates. Discord is not, um, well, Electrum. Let's, let's go start again. <laughs> Update, right? This morning and what's in there? Go and have a look. Hopefully there is something that supports the update for Discord. And if there's not, and I don't think I see anything in here, but let's try anyway, then uh, we need to find an alternative and there are alternatives. So Discord does not boot. How can I get rid of this thing? There are two ways. Super shift escape is going to open up our task manager. You just type Discord. And then you see here the things that are linked to Discord. So you can actually say kill. Now this is for me the long way around, which is okay, right? There is also the super escape, which gives me an X kill thing. In some of the icon themes, it becomes a skull, right? You kill things. When you touch it, when you click it with a left mouse click, boom, it's gone. That's super easy, super escape. And then whatever you touch, whatever is, is lagging, or whatever you want to get rid of, immediately super X. Behind it is the X kill. So Eric, fine, but you don't have Discord. So how do you do that? What do you do, right? So I've updated. Normally, I, I'm of course recording. Normally, I would reboot and see if it works again because there were some updates coming in. Let's see. A ball. We're okay. We're okay. So normally, I would say reboot, but. Paru or Ye, always use Ye, so let's use Paru for a while. And then Paru Discord. There are alternatives. So Discord needs to be updated and it's not our thing, not our job to update them. It's actually the job of Arch Linux. Community means it's not us, right? The other guys, Arch Linux. So maybe it's the 16.2 that's needed or they'll jump version and it's gonna be 17. Anyway, it needs an update. We have the Discord Arch Electron, which is still at the old version, as you see. So that's installed. So I'm using this one. And that's why everything is now looking the way it is. So basically, switch, right? If something like this occurs, switch. So either Discord or Discord Arch Electron. I'll up update it later. So we have also on the repo third party number 16. If, there you go. If the maintainer, not me, not Eric Dubois, is not maintaining any of the AOR packages, I just, I'm not doing that anymore, right? But I am using their scripts to create packages that go on here, on the repo third party. So in a while, right, a few seconds later, I'll run my scripts and put them on the repo and everything will be solved. But it's more important to explain you, to you the, what's behind it, right? So switch between Discord Arch Electron, switch between Discord. Third thing, build it yourself. Type in number five and tell the system, go get the recipe, the package build, go get that one and build it. And in the future, there may be more things in here. There are maybe alternatives extra alternatives because users, maintainers, package builders think, let's get this functionality out or the other way, let's get the functionality in and they get another version. And that's like, there's also lots of versions about Compton because they feel this does not actually change and, and you get a new package as a result. So alternatives enough. In this case, um, we, well, after this video, like let's say in, in 15 minutes or something like that, the new package, this one that I'm using, will be updated. 
But in the meantime, right now, if I wanted to, I just go number one, which is not a build. It's an installation. Anything AUR is a build and it looks strange, all these building and these uh, text in the terminal. But the other guys here, Arclix repo third party is an installation and we build it for you. That's the difference, right? And thank God for Pac-Man and its way to communicate with the system. It's either this one or that one. It's the same thing. It's the same package, same folders, same links. So everything needs to get uh, removed. Discord, Arch, Electron, you're out. And Discord, you're up. That's basically what we're saying. And that's why you need to say a yes and not an enter but the enter is a capital N. So if you enter, you stop everything. You need to really say to the system, to Pac-Man, it's okay. Remove this one, get that one. And then maybe it will work because it's another version. Let's try, let's hope that works. And then we have a great tutorial. If it doesn't work, you know what the drill is? Doesn't seem to work. Reboot, right? Reboot. This is the best thing to do. Right, Discord, uh, well, I mean, as a general tip, go to the terminal, launch the application, see the messages, there's Python updates, there's libraries updates, there's so much that can go wrong. Often it's an update and a reboot. Okay, I'll do just the same. I'll update and start running my scripts. Cheers.